What's up guys and welcome to the Pop Stop. Today I'm going to show you how I custom paint Funko Pops. Now this is the way that I do it. I don't know if it's the right way. It's just the way that I like to do it. I'm sure there's many different ways, but here's how I personally do it. First, you want to use masking tape to cover up all the parts that you don't want the paint on. And then you're gonna press down the edges, make sure it's nice and good in there, and then use a razor blade to get really fine lines. After all the parts are taped off, then scuff the surface with a very fine sandpaper or a light scouring pad. Don't go too deep because you don't want to create grooves in the actual pop. All right guys, so now it is time to paint our TIG pop. I already have him masked off right there and I am going to paint him with this very beautiful blue. Look at that, you see that color? You gotta take it in the sunlight, but it's absolutely beautiful. So what I'm gonna use is some reducer here and this paint. Take this cup right here and find it to where it is a, where is it at? One to one mixing ratio and go ahead and mix the paint and then we'll begin spraying. This is very strong smelling paint so I do recommend using this if you use car paint. Like this brand is Shopline and it's called, is that Del Dahlia Blue Metallic? Let's go ahead and see how he comes out. All right, so before we paint this guy, I am going to wipe him with an alcohol swab. You can use other kinds of degreasers. This is just kind of the one that I had lying around. So you wanna make sure you get all the grease off of him. You can prime these. I just gave him a little bit of a sand and scuffed him up a bit. You don't have to use coarse sandpaper. Be careful around your glue, I mean your tape, and just go all over him, get all the grease off of him. And as soon as you're done with that, he is ready to paint. When you're spraying this, you want to make sure your spray is very even. You want to check for any light spots and just go over it. Give it a couple coats. All right, now that we are done airbrushing the metallic blue on our Tick Pop, look at that, he looks all good. We are going to clear coat it. Now, usually I like using this clear coat right here. It's a little bit more expensive, but I'm almost out. So I have my second favorite one, which is also, I think, half the price. Look at that, get that name right there and it works really well. You have to be in good non-human conditions to do this. Now I am going to clear the entire thing, leaving the tape on the eyes. That way when I have the clear applied, afterwards I'm gonna let it dry just a little bit and then I'm gonna take a razor blade around the tape and then peel it off. That way you get a matte to gloss finish and it looks a lot cooler in my opinion. So let's go ahead and spray him and see how he comes out. All right, now we have him clear coated and he looks really good. So let's go ahead and take a razor blade and start cutting around the edges of the tape just so it doesn't pull up any of the clear coat. And then we will start peeling it up slowly. You gotta be very careful. You can mess up so many things right here. Just kind of peel it in so it kind of breaks. If I had tweezers, I'd be using them, but I can't seem to find them. And we have one eye. Oh, look at that break between the clear coat and the plane. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna do the same thing. He's very gently, his razor blade is sharp, so be careful not to dig in to the other paint. You kinda wanna lift it and fold back. And once you get enough where you can get it, and you can work with your fingers like so. Push in. 
There you go. Now we need to give him a mouth. Of course. So I'm gonna start with the finest corner. You wanna not try to hit the paint. You wanna just try to lift up underneath the tape. And grab it and pull back. And of course I've done this in many layers, so this is gonna be a pain in the butt. There you go. You have a custom metallic clear coated blue tick. Oh man, when he's out in the sun, he is gonna look great. All right, here he is, the finished metallic tick. Let me know what you think of him in the comments down below. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and let me know if you'd like to see more of these also in the comments down below. Well, that's it for now. Keep it popping, people. Smoke me a kipper. I'll be back for breakfast.